Welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about probability. Probability is a mathematical way of describing how likely it is for something to happen. In probability experiments, we have an outcome. An outcome is the result of the probability experiment. In probability, the words we use to describe it are certain, likely, unlikely, impossible, and equally likely. We mostly use spinners, dice, and also coins in probability experiments. So the possible outcome for the first spinner over here is yellow. And the possible outcome for the second spinner is green and yellow. Green and yellow. And the possible outcome for the third spinner is also green and yellow. But the possible outcome for the last spinner is green. When we talk about the probability of the arrow landing on each part of the spinner, we use the words certain, likely, unlikely, impossible, and equally likely. So the probability of the arrow landing on yellow is certain because there is only one color on each part of the spinner. And the probability of the arrow landing on yellow in the second spinner is likely. It is likely because out of four equal parts of the spinner, three parts are yellow. And the probability of the arrow landing on yellow in the third spinner is unlikely. It is unlikely because out of the four equal pieces of the spinner, only one of them is yellow. And the probability of the arrow landing on yellow in the fourth spinner is impossible. It is impossible because there is no yellow color in this spinner. So the probability is impossible. Or there is no chance for the arrow to land on yellow. So students, when the result of an experiment is equal or when there is equal chance for something to happen, we use the word equally likely. We use the words equally likely. For example, for the first spinner down here, we have two possible outcomes, yellow and green. Because both of them have equal chance to happen, we use equally likely to describe them. In the second spinner also, there are four possible outcomes over here, out of which two are yellow and two are green. So both yellow and green have got equal chance to happen. So for this one also we use equally likely. In the third spinner also, there are three possible outcomes. We have yellow, green and blue. So each three of them have got equal chance to happen. So we use equally likely. Or for example, if we toss a coin, if we toss a coin, there are two possible outcomes. The coin will sit either heads up or tail up. So for the coin also, we can say that the possible outcome is equally likely because there are two possible outcomes and both of them have got equal chance to happen. Or for example, in a dice, if you are going to roll it, the outcomes are equally likely because the dice has got six faces. On each face, we have one number. So each number from one to six has got equal chance to happen. 
this is all about our today's lesson which is about probability i hope it helps you learn about probability and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section under this video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel and like the videos have a nice time and thank you so much